Hi, I'm Walt Augustinowitz, founder of Identity Stronghold, and a consumer advocate on the issue of electronic pickpocketing and RFID security. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that they tested over 100 mobile phone apps and found that a high percentage of them actually transmit your personal information, such as your device ID, your location, gender, male or female, age, etc., to third parties. So we posed this question, could it also send information such as credit card account numbers just from credit cards that are just nearby the phone? And the unfortunate answer is yes. You're about to see a video demonstration of a smartphone app that might be downloaded by a user from any one of the, you know, the open market app stores out there. And unbeknownst to the user, that application contains a Trojan horse that does electronic pickpocketing. It sits in your phone and continuously scans for RFID-enabled credit cards that are in close proximity to the phone. As soon as it's near one, the rogue app then secretly emails credit card number, expiration date, and any other personal information it can gather from the phone and sends it to a designated email address, perhaps overseas, often known as a virtual Dropbox. This is another electronic pickpocketing tool consumers need to be aware of, and despite what the payment industry tells you, the threat is real. I welcome naysayers, but please back up your claims with facts or another video demo. Cut and paste of canned statements won't be respected. Let's get on with the demo. Okay, for the purpose of this demo, I just took a, you know, a standard women's purse that also holds a cell phone. We have some credit cards in here. One of them happens to be the new kind of credit cards with the RFID chip, which uh, many of you have now since there's several hundred million in circulation. Uh, and then I have a uh, smartphone here. And this is what they call an NFC-enabled smartphone for near-field communications, which pretty much all the smartphones going forward are going to be enabled with. Uh, basically, NFC is the same thing as RFID. It allows you to read and write to RFID chips. So what we've done is we've shown how anybody can, we, we've created an app. It's just a simple tic-tac-toe game here. And I'm going to start that up and, you know, I can be playing tic-tac-toe. But this could really be any game out there. Um, something popular that people are downloading so that lots of people download it. But it looks just like, a, you know, any other app. Okay, and I'm going to exit out of it. Doesn't even have to be running. But you may have downloaded at one time, you know, uh, a game or an app with a uh, rogue electronic pickpocket uh, application in it. And you'll see what will happen is I'm going to actually just slide my phone in here and uh, I'm going to zoom in on the computer in the background and you'll notice every time it, it's actually reading that card. It actually just did it twice. Um, you'll see it just sent out a secret email to another email address that the Tic Tac Trojan horse, uh, horse has found a card. And if I actually open one of these up, you'll see that it actually contains credit card information. We've done asterisks, you know, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, but it's as simple as that. And we may have hundreds of thousands of phones shortly out there. You know, the bad guys have written some fun apps that lots of people are using. And uh, those apps, unfortunately, are secretly waiting for the phone just to get near a credit card that's vulnerable. And then you would have your information stolen. Now, if anybody, you know, you, I'm sure people are going to say this is smoke and mirrors. It absolutely is not. If you're a credit card company or issuer or, uh, you know, industry or press and you're concerned and wondering if this is real, we welcome you to come to our offices and we'll demonstrate it live and in person just so you can see how it works. So that concludes our demo. Uh, I hope it was educational. I know it's scary when I first... Uh, realized it was possible. I was uh, uh, scared myself. I'm thinking, do I get rid of my phone? What do I do? Uh, but, you know, basically what you need to do is you need to be informed. You need to know what the risks are. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please visit our website, idstronghold.com. We have lots of ways to protect yourself as well as uh, a lot of news videos and things like that so you can get more information about the dangers involved. Uh, you know, you need to be informed and it's as simple as that. And if you're informed, you can be protected. Thank you.